talking on Skype to Iris in New York, session number three. So, things have been doing great. Uh, I took a lot of different um, approaches for myself. Yes. With your help and your um, guidance, and setting um, my mind and my direction of how I think a little differently, but it takes time to practice, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have any neck pain for a while, and little by little, it started creeping up on me. And I kept saying to myself, shit, why is this happening to me? So I started to reflect, why is this happening to me? So Michael is like uh, knocking on my head and saying, you know, your body's reacting to something that you're feeling and, you know, all that. So what do you think started creeping up on me? No. My neck, my neck is a little looser. <laughs> yeah, already? Oh, yeah, I told you with you it right away. Yeah. Do you know what to do? Uh, like uh, breathing, yeah. Okay. Breathing, and I take a few moments, and I breathe, and I decompress. I'm, I'm pretty good. You make I sounds. Pretty, pretty good. You make sounds also. Not really. Okay. It's it's amazing. Whenever you have stress or not related to your neck, it can be whatever. If you just make sound for 10 minutes, you don't know what's happening. Your, your whole body starts to energize, relax in the first place because the sound, the vibration is relaxing all the cells and all the muscles and everything is uh, attuned to this vibration, the, the sound that you make. So it can be an oh, or, or it can be uh, eh. It doesn't matter what note you do as long as it feels relaxed, not uh, effort to make the sound. I usually do uh, and but most people like the oh. When you, when you make the OM, the, the, the letter M in the end, you close your mouth and you make the sound inside. OM. So it vibrates through your body. Yeah. You breathe in through the nose and you make the sound. And while you focus on breathing in through the nose and making the sound, you cannot think. And when you cannot think, your whole body starts to relax. And the sound of vibration is helping to, uh, it's like uh, moving the energy. It's, it, it's a form of meditation. It is meditation. It is, but it's a healing meditation and it will heal you from whatever you don't know. I've done it in the car. One day I woke up, and we had a party, and I had to go get the sound system, which are big speakers and everything, and I wake up with a stiff neck. I could only look people like this, you know? Oh my God. So I get in the car, it was a year ago, I get in the car, and I drive to this place where they rent this stuff, and I go, oh. And I smile and I really am focusing on this place in my neck I'm sending their light energy I really feel what's going on in there and I'm sending the vibration to this place and if you imagine it it happens I believe it and I get there 
and I'm like, oh, <laughs> that feels better. That's so amazing. I took everything in the car and I could feel it coming up again. So I had to drive back and I do it again the whole way. And uh, when I come home, it was gone. Amazing. Normally it will take me three, four days to recover from, you know, something like that. So, breath and sound is something very powerful that you, you can do to yourself. And when you, are, if there's people around you and you still want to do it, you can do it very silently inside by just making the letter M. Very low vibration. What am I going to think I'm humming to myself? <laughs> Try to make the vibration as low as possible, that you almost don't hear it. Right. Then you can do it in the car, you can do it in the supermarket, you can do it wherever, where there's noise, people will not hear you. You know, my sister, the one that I told you about, that she's a nutritionist, she's also very holistic and she's organic and she's uh, all these things, right? Uh -huh. So I told her about you. I have, we're four sisters, but she's the only one that I can communicate in, in this kind of conversation because my other sister will think I'm completely nuts and the other one, whatever. Mm. So I told her about you and she was very like impressed by it. And I was telling her, you know, you wouldn't believe Michael helped me, my neck doesn't hurt. And lo and behold, I started to think about the anxiety that I have to anticipate her return and my pain started coming back. She goes, you lying. I said, I'm not lying. It really came back. I said, I have to work on this and I have to get it out of my system and there's no way in hell I'm going to live with three more years of pain. It was depressing. Mm -hmm. Depressing. Yes. So, I will work on it. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. That's it. Okay. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Okay. So, take a breath through the nose and make a sound. Mm. Uh, do it a few more times. It's like a, like a sound of relief, like Ah. Mm -hmm. They're now a little bit more shallow. Until you breathe without effort. And only make sound when you breathe out, like very short. slowly and less deep action it's more relaxed now the breathing yes in, not too much out. Without effort. Yeah. 
have your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. Good. Then relax your eyes behind your eyelids. Relax your jaws. You can even open your mouth a little bit. Say, ah, oh, and then relax the, relax the tongue, the jaws. Mm -hmm. And go inside in your body and scan it. Scan it for any stress or area that is not relaxed yet. Just see it, just feel it. Don't try to change it. Just see it and feel it. If you feel like moving, this is the time to find the most comfortable position. Because I'm going to ask you not to move for some minutes. Even though you feel like moving, don't move. Don't adjust anything in your body. Okay, now I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I want you to stop time. Just imagine that by sitting there on the floor, paying attention to your breath. That's the only thing there is right now. And feeling your body. Feel everything that is there to be felt, every little sensation, every tingling, no matter what it is, feel it and be aware of it. Only look at it, only feel it. Feel it as deep as possible, without putting extra on it. Don't create more of it, just see it and feel it. Don't try to change it. Just let it be. And when you feel and when you see, do it through the eyes of love. Smile at what you're seeing or feeling, but really from, from inside, from looking from a distance, because you are not the pain. So you don't have to become the pain. And you can smile at the pain, or at the itch, or at the cramp, or whatever you might experience that is maybe unpleasant. But when you smile at it, you actually delete the unpleasantness. You come from love, you come from accepting. And when you do that, the body can adjust immediately. So by staying in that frequency, by really paying attention to your body, you can control everything that's going on inside. just by smiling. And then you can make sounds and breathing yeah. to, to empower the process, to turn your body to vibrate in a higher state. This is what you do when you make sound your body starts to vibrate in a higher frequency. And when the body is vibrating in a high frequency, there can not, not be pain, there cannot be illness, there cannot not be disease. 
that only comes when the body is vibrating low. Stress, anxiety is low vibration. So whenever you feel those emotions, then this is what you can do to go inside, to make sound, to calm your body down, and then to look at what's going on inside your body. Like a mother that is looking at her child with love. It's always love, unconditional love. Now I want you to breathe in light through the nose. You breathe in light every time you breathe in. It's light and you send it to the place in your neck where the issue is. If you feel something, you, you can do this with anything that's happening in your body. So right now we focus on the neck. You can breathe in the light to where the issue is. And you surround it with light. Just imagine it. And it happens. Your intent is enough. Your body is listening to your intent always. So when your intentions are coherent with your beliefs, then you create a peaceful body. the neck feel right now? Very relaxed. Mm. Yes. So you understand what is your power? say inside yourself, thank you Nick, for showing me what I need to focus on. You can rest now. Thank you so much. You're such an amazing tool for keeping me in my frequency. I get you. <laughs> I know you do. Don't come back. We don't want you. No, say it differently. Stay away. It's okay. I'm now taking control. And, uh, you know, but uh, if I tend to forget, please give me a sign and I will get back on track right away. You have to be nice to, uh, to it. You understand? Because it comes to help you. Your neck pain is actually telling you a different course different attitude because uh, this is not your way drama is not for you and anxiety is not for you God bless you Michael mm -hmm. okay. uh, you don't believe in God <laughs> oh I do I do believe in the creative source you know, God is, is, what is God? God is a word that is uh, misunderstood by so many people or explained differently by billions of people. So, and creating too many wars. Yeah, exactly. 
but uh, I do believe in the creative source that created the heavens and the earth and all the universes that we can see. Um, so that's God for me. Actually, God is inside of us. All oh, of definitely. Us. All of us. That, that, that's why I can do what I do. That's why what we do together is really working. <laughs> because it's, it's not me, I'm just a channel. You're a channel. I'm exactly. Just, but I'm just a channel. Uh, yeah, but, but yet, you know, it's, if, if you don't accept it, nothing happens. You understand? But because of the connection, because of the understanding, there is, it opens the door for miracles. Anybody can do this. No, it's not everybody can do this. It's, if, even if you can do it, it's, people have to accept it. Yes, but the fact is, it's built in, in every single one of us, but nobody knows. That's the problem. <laughs> but it's built in. I know. It's built in. I know. I know. You know, some people carry it differently. Some, some people react differently. Some people don't submit to it. Some people don't um, even realize that they have this ability mm. to, to get there somehow. I'm very lucky. I'm fortunate that I was able to even um, consciously say, you know what, let me try. What can I lose? I swear, I never expected any of this. I, I told you that the first time, I didn't. I know, that, that's the amazing part of it. So, I'm happy, I thank you. How does it feel right now? Much better. All right. Okay. So you know what you have to. You, you know how to breathe from the belly. Okay, it's like. Uh, well, you know, I, I started to learn that in uh, the new thing that I started with Pilates. Oh, uh, I do the reformer machine. So the, the trainer also teaches us that we have to line up our core and breathe through the stomach and. Yes. The, the, the spine, like all these things come into action. That's why I connected with the, the Pilates a little bit. Ah, good. Good. So that's, that's amazing because the breath is the number one key to relaxation. If you know how to breathe properly, then you're set, actually. You can fix almost anything. Okay. And the longer the breath, the longer you live. Yeah. So if it's you, true. if it's you, your first, then you last. <laughs> if you, if you can make a practice every week of half an hour, uh, I don't know how many times uh, a week, but it, it, if, if you can do that to take a breath in the nose and then make a note, ah. You don't have to do it very loud, but the fact that you make it long is pulling your belly inside. And when you pull the belly inside, you are getting used to a way of powerful breathing. And with power. They don't have a six pack like you. But you're going to get one. I don't know. It's childbearing. It's, it's bread. very. <laughs> it's very powerful. The breath. I'm telling you, if you if you do that every week, half hour, like but really strong. Uh, uh, you know, you will change your life. I'll get there. Cool. Anything else? 
I think we're good. Yeah. I think we're very good. All right. All right. I have. Uh, I'm going to send you a link of something interesting for uh, for Amy. Uh, it's science, and it's about uh, the biology of belief. Okay. And it's uh, from a cell biologist who discovered. I think maybe she'll connect to that. Who uh, who discovered that there is no genetic diseases, doesn't exist. Hmm. And he proved it in the 60s and everybody was laughing at him. But today they're not laughing anymore. So what is it, environmental diseases? Uh, no, everything. Like they did an uh, experiment with uh, people that have a uh, genetic disease in the family. They wanted to know how the children that were adopted, so they, they look at families that have genetic disease with adopted children. And they saw that from those families, a lot of those adopted children got the same disease. And they were like, but that is strange, because they're not blood related, or related at all. So he proves that the biology of belief, uh, our consciousness is creating everything. Yep. If you think you will get it, you will get it. Right. That's the bottom line. So that's it. So I'm going to send you something cool that you can uh, share with her. Maybe she. I will, appreciate. Uh, maybe she will like it. Mm. Hi, my name is Michael van Dommelen. I'm a holistic healing channel for redesigning your life. Perceptual healing is the name of the game. To change anything in our life, we need to change our perception, the way we react, think, believe, feel, see, touch. That's important. I do that through meditation, sound healing, energy healing, uh, breathing, movements, many things, light language. So uh, check it out. Thanks for tuning in.